Now, the way I remembered it was hair, hair grows on Mr. SBC. But what it meant was ham, green olives, onions, mushrooms, black olives, sausage, bacon, cheese, right? But actually, it's beef and cheese. But that's what they were trying to we, we had to learn. I mean, they had to learn all this stuff. And some of them are going, hey, make something up. Make them funny. Make them stupid. How many of you all have ever played an instrument? Okay. What is the thing that you had to learn about boys? Right. Every good boy does fine. The different, what, notes that you had to know, right? It's simple. It's been around a long time. Rob was talking about it earlier. You sit there and look at the Z method and create some mnemonics. You can go through military school and learn whole books <laughs> based on mnemonics. But let's go on to some other fun ones. Because your mind is so photographic, the PEG method is something that really will help you identify whole lists of things. Now, the more ridiculous that you make it, the sillier, the stupider, the gross, the more gross that it is, it's, it's even better. Now, you might think, ah, oh, come on. But, no, really. If it's something that's unbelievable, you'll remember it. And it's usually used for lists, lists of things. Like, uh, in school, you have to remember so many states and so many dates and so many things. And I mean, in the church, we sit there and have to memorize stuff like, oh, the ten plagues. How many of you all can name the ten plagues? All ten? Go for it. Which ones? Locusts. Frogs. Okay, cool. What else? What are a couple other ones that happened? Remember the ten plagues? Blood. Blood. Yeah, that showed up somewhere. What? Yeah. See, a lot of times we don't remember all of the plagues because it's like, well, that's a series of ten, and, and oh my goodness, that's just a lot to learn, right? Well, you're going to learn them in the next few minutes, literally. And I'll be able to say, what's the seventh plague? And you'll say, hail. And what's the third plague? And you'll say, oh, that's easy. That's uh, life. And I'll go, well, how do you know that? Because you're seeing the picture. Here's what we'll do. If you were to take a banana and you were to look at a banana, a banana kind of bent like that, right? And you turn around like this, it looks like a one, right? Make sense? So if you were to take that banana and you were to break it open and gush just came out and Blood gushed everywhere. Well, that's gross. Okay, but you'll never forget that the first plague was the Nile turned to blood. Now, do y'all remember when you were eight or nine years old? Everybody have a bike? You're riding your bike. You're riding it on your street. And you're supposed to be kind of close to the curb, but you're riding on the street. But for you today, you're riding along and it's kind of bouncy. It's like going over something. And so all of a sudden you look down and there are all these frogs that are in the middle of the road, and you're running over them, and blood is gushing out of each side of the frogs. It's awful! Yuck! Right? But you'll never forget that the second bicycle has two wheels, plague was what? Frogs. Okay. A camera has a tripod underneath it. Tri-beam.